Hey everyone, it's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. In this video, we will check out the newly released L-band patch antenna designed by RTL SDR Blog using our RSP1A SDR. The Inmarsat satellite we will be decoding today, or try to decode, is the Inmarsat 4F3. F3 is one of many geostationary satellites out in space. F3 is roughly 98 degrees west, which is that way. The frequencies used by F3 are in the 1.5 GHz range. This is perfect for the RSP1A or any of our RSPs. All RSPs can receive up to 2 GHz. F3 has multiple transmission beams and each beam transmits different data. We are looking for STDC, particularly EGC and LES. EGC stands for Enhanced Group Call, and LES stands for Land Earth Station. Many of the messages are marine related. It could be military ships performing firing exercises, or a distress signal sent from a captain of a vessel being attacked by pirates. Those are just some of the messages transmitted over the Inmarsat satellites, but please, before attempting anything shown in this video, check your local laws. The L-band patch antenna will connect and power off our RSP-1A. We will use SDR Uno with VB cable, and the decoder we're going to use is called Techmanoid. Techmanoid is a paid-for-use app, but it's not the only decoder available. I use it for its simplicity and its extremely low system resources. So if you're new to all of this, don't worry. Primers and information will be in the video description. So now let's see what we can decode from 22,000 miles away. I doubt they're going to send me a QSL card, to be honest. Okay, I got everything set up. The antenna is on the roof of the vehicle. The L-band patch antenna comes with two mounts. It comes with a suction cup mount, which is the mount that I'm currently using. And it also comes with a mini tripod flexible foot mount uh, where you can basically just plop that on a desk and point the L-band patch antenna uh, right at the satellites. So we just finished having some overcast and some rain. It's starting to clear up. I'm not in the ideal spot that I'd like to be in, uh, but we are receiving the signal from 22,000 miles away. We're at 1.537.700. Let's launch Techmanoid, and you can see that we are getting packets of data, and I apologize for the glare. And for the audio, I have to use my cell phone for this video because I have to go outside in order to pick up Inmarsat because I can't pick it up from uh, the backyard where the other antennas are. But we're getting good signal, good data, good frames. And we're just going to sit here and wait for all these packets to come down and hopefully we'll get some information, we'll get some messages. Okay, Techmanoid was able to decode a message. It looks like it's an EGC message over our Inmarsat 4F3. If you guys want to pause the video real quick and take a quick peek at the message, be my guest. I'm going to give you guys my thoughts really quick on this antenna. I'm actually really impressed with it. It's working out really well. I'm getting a better SNR overall using, you know, a better SNR with the signals that I'm receiving using this patch antenna uh, versus two other patch an antennas that I've used before. Uh, the RTL SDR blog antenna has a built-in LNA. And I believe it's also using a soft filter. And what's good is, as I said earlier, I'm using the RSP1A, which has the built-in bias T, so it will power that LNA with no problem at all. Uh, the RSP2 will also do that, the RSPDX will do that, and the RSP Duo. Uh, the feet that it comes with, it, as I said earlier, it comes with two mounting options. It comes with a suction cup mount, or it comes with this little contraption here, this bendable foot mount and this is really good if you're gonna go portable with this or if you're out in a park or if you just want to plop this in your on your back deck or uh, you can use the suction cup mount I'll take a picture of it and at the end of the video I'll show the picture of how I have it mounted on the vehicle uh, you can use a suction cup mount and use that on the window use that on any uh, I guess non porous surface that it would stick to a car uh, a window, a mirror, <laughs> a glass table, anything like that. But this antenna is picking up signals uh, phenomenally. It's My SNR difference is about 5 or 6 dB uh, from the previous antennas that I used, and I'm basically in the same location as the previous videos that I've done showing L-band decoding. 
and it's working out great. Uh, do I recommend this? Yeah, absolutely I do. If you want a, a good, solid L-band patch antenna with a built-in LNA, uh, you know, saw filter uh, that's well-built, weatherproof, and, and does the job, this is the one to get. If you're looking for something not so expensive, not that this is very expensive, but if you want something that's not as expensive, uh, second choice, in my opinion, would be the SDR Kits uh, little mini patch antenna. Uh, that would be my second choice. So that's basically it for me. I'm going to do a little bit more decoding. I'll pop the message back up on the screen. You can see it's still running. We're still getting packets. We still got good signal. Quick message. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys do decide to get this antenna or any of the L-band patch antennas, reach out to me in the comments. Let me know what you're what you guys are doing. If you're using the RSP1A, a DX, a Duo, a 2, uh, it could even be another SDR. Uh, feel free to reach out to me and let's uh, all keep in touch. All right, guys, 7-3, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up in my book.